It is the Dallas Cowboys owner and general manager, Jerry Jones. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, Kevin, Reggie. Good to be on with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I know y'all have bigger aspirations, so I am kind of curious, with the win, first back-to-back 12-win seasons in 27 years, does that feel like an accomplishment, or are you like, yeah, I got other stuff in mind? No, it was like an accomplishment, and we do have other stuff in mind. So uh, that's the difference, but uh, uh, we would uh, certainly have taken this uh, when we started the year. Uh, but uh, we've got uh, every opportunity, because of the old ones, uh, to really uh, uh, do some things that we haven't done in years, and that is we not only are going to be in the playoff, but we want to be playing well when we get there. We want to be as uh, healthy as we can be when we get there. And we want to have anticipated uh, what our competition is going to be bringing at the playoff level. And uh, I think we've given ourselves a chance to do that. Now, when you talk about the health of the team, I think we were all just a little bit nervous, held our breath. I'm sure you did as well when it looked like Dak was uh, hobbling around on his knee just a little bit. Do you have any idea what happened and what the status is there? No, uh, but he's in good shape. I, I don't know what happened. Uh, he may have hyperextended a little bit. Uh, I knew uh, almost immediately we were uh, checking with the uh, t- team and checking with the sideline, and we knew he was going to be good. Now, Jerry, obviously, as we talk about health concerns, Tyler Biotish was carted off in this game. Do we have any updates on him? No, but I'm hopeful that uh, I don't have that officially, but I'm hopeful that uh, it may not be as bad as we think, but we'll see uh, again how he responds. Uh, he's going to be in for a few days rest, but uh, uh, hopefully we will have a better of it than it might have looked. And also, I mean, you were talking about trying to play your best football this time of year. I understand that you ultimately get the win here and you cover the spread, which I'm not sure how concerned you are personally about that. But um, there's there there's, is a portion of this fan base that's still wary of this team's ability to win in the playoffs. What do you say to try and like calm those fears? Well, I think that uh, uh, we just need to go back to that 12 win year. At this juncture, uh, we, of course, have uh, got a few days here that we can spare uh, to get some people healthy. And uh, between now and the time we play again, play that was uh, a Washington team. But uh, I think we uh, we ought to look at the uh, uh, the, the fact that uh, uh, we've really got a chance to uh, take everything that has happened to us. We've certainly had uh, our challenges, uh, but we've overcome them. I think that's a big thing about the playoffs is having overcome them. And I think uh, we've got a chance to have this and ready to go. Uh, I look at the health, but more importantly, I look at the amount of play time that uh, a lot of our players have as we've gone through the season. And uh, I think that'll bode us well in the playoffs. The play time of the entire squad, our depth, I think that's going to be good for us in the playoffs. Hey, Jerry, I know we want to get back to the game, but I was kind of curious. What did you think? We all saw the debut of the Arctic Cowboy white uniforms for this game. What were your thoughts on seeing those out on the field? Snazzy. (laughs) And I thought it was a good place to uh, uh, show them off there in the entertainment capital that Nashville is. And uh, uh, But I thought it worked good. We had it to ourselves there on Thursday night. And uh, all of that was a positive, and uh, I'll tell you, it was a, a hard game. It was a uh, we had uh, really we had to uh, go uh, draw down and, and ourselves as a team and uh, win that game. Uh, they played outstanding for the circumstances. Uh, I'm talking the Titans, and gave us all we wanted. But it was great to come out of there with a win. I think. I think a lot of us have been impressed, and I have to admit, I've been a little surprised at the contributions of T.Y. Hilton. I know it's only been a couple of games, but what have you thought about his addition and play thus far? I think every time you uh, he goes out for a, for a snap, uh, you see that experience. And you see uh, uh, he's made big plays. He's made big plays in big games. Uh, and he hadn't lost anything. 
and um, he's a real addition. And uh, he's not only, as as has been stated, he's not only great for Dak and great for uh, that particular series, he's great for the other receivers as well. He has a lot of respect, and uh, that's going to really pay dividends because people uh, uh, recognize that he's on the field and they'll have to address him. And when they do, that'll leave it open for Lamb and Gallup and our other receivers. And it will also help us with some of the things we do uh, uh, with our running game. It'll help us out of the backfield with some of our pad to our running backs. Overall, it's quite an addition, and we're going to use it. Now, speaking of other receivers, it seemed absurd to a lot of us, but I would love to get your thoughts when – T.O. and his agent said they had reached out to you. Did you hear from Terrell Owens, and do you have any thoughts about all of that? I've never talked to, I've never talked to him or his agent, and uh, will not seriously consider it. We're talking to, but I've never talked to him. We're talking to Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones right here on 105 Through the Fan. Now, Jerry, I mean, your team has seen quite an uptick in turnovers over the last few weeks. And, of course, you mentioned how you're been, you've been able to win despite that. But do you have concerns about the way this team has turned the ball over of late? Well, the ones that uh, are, uh, frankly, uh, uh, caused by uh, some pretty uh, uh, different type uh, play uh, balls that hit our receivers and flip up for the uh, for the interception, those don't concern me. Uh, now, uh, a concentration by the players and, and focusing on uh, uh, how to have uh, uh, focusing on that issue, you always want that concentration. Those don't concern me, though, and that's been about half of them. The ones that just pop out that uh, uh, just if you might look at it and say for Dak, that's a uh, that's really not an interception on Dak. Uh, the ones that are, are more in his judgment range, uh, we threw a lot of balls there last night. And uh, I'm really confident that as we go forward, finish with Washington, then we get on into the playoffs at Dak's judgment is the thing that will cause to win uh, not limit us in winning the games and so uh, I feel good uh, that we will uh, be able to really compete in spite of this rash of turnovers we've had hey Jerry I'm hoping you can bear with us and maybe we can call you right back or you can call us right back we're getting a lot of breakup like on that last answer so I'm going to see if we can reconnect really quick. okay well let me, let me get it but you don't want to try to call me back and I because we might not get back yeah can you hear me okay yeah okay that, I think right. that... we might not get back so I pre I'm, I'm sorry that we're having this problem I'm, I'm a long way from you but uh, having said that, I feel like that uh, the type of turnover that we should be concerned about, uh, the one that uh, looks like it might reoccur, some of these turnovers are just really happenings that uh, you, you really don't plan on dealing with time in, time out, flipping the ball in the air with, once it's hit the receiver in the hands, those type of things. The kind of turnovers that you should be concerned about, judgment turnovers, the judgment turnovers, I feel great that we've got a quarterback that can look past those and execute without those turnovers. Are the, I don't think that will beat us in the playoffs. I do not think turnovers will beat us in the playoffs. If we have them, they will, but I don't think it's going to be a, that's going to be the issue in the playoffs. Are the kind of flukier turnovers that you talked about, like the deflections or the drops or anything like that, do you think that's contributed to some of the slower first half starts then? Well, any turnover, any turnover is a setback. And uh, they count just like the ones that aren't fluky. Uh, but I don't believe we have to set our sail and work around planning on having those kinds of turnovers. I got to believe, and I believe because of Dak and because of his experience and because of his judgment and because of skill set, I've got to believe those uh, 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 turnovers will not keep us from be being and having winning games in the playoffs. All right. I was curious, the 
decision right before we heard Mike McCarthy on the pregame that Tony Pollard wanted to play, but Mike McCarthy thought best long-term look was for him to go ahead and sit this game out. I'm kind of curious how that decision gets made for Pollard versus Micah Parsons, who we saw out there with the club fist, and obviously he ended up having a huge impact on the game. Well, one was uh, in the hand uh, that we could basically uh, work to uh, cast up and protect, and the other one was with your legs, and uh, and uh, uh, Pollard at his position uh, probably is more sensitive uh, than uh, in this particular case uh, uh, with uh, Parsons on his hand. Uh, but I think you uh, most of the time. Uh, the player decides if I can go or not. And under the circumstances, we thought uh, not tonight. Uh, we could very well have him for Washington, though, and I look to. But even then, uh, I'm not as concerned about that injury. How big of a Saints fan are you going to be this <laughs> weekend to hopefully keep this division race going? Well, I, uh, uh, put me in, you know, we've always had quite a rivalry with the uh, Saints because our East Texas fan base. Uh, and uh, certainly we, when they're not playing, we have a lot of fans down in Louisiana. This is one time that I'm going to be rooting for my home team, Shreveport. Here we go. Now, Jerry, I mean, obviously you, you finally got an interception from for uh, rookie Nashawn, or not rookie, but your cornerback, Nashawn Wright. How – how uh, gratifying was it to see him get that grab uh, last night? Well, I knew uh, that, uh, of course, it was an outstanding play that you can make with his skill set, and that's always been the thing for him. Uh, once he gets his confidence, once he gets his technique that you get with uh, more experience, then his skill set, his height, his length would make him a unique corner for us. Uh, I think that's coming, and I was proud to see him get it. I was curious, during the broadcast last night, Kirk Herbstreet said that Dak and CD might have the best connection or chemistry going in the NFL right now. He passes 100 catches for the season. We There was so much discussion before the year started about CD Lamb's ability as a number one. What have you thought about his play, I guess especially over the, like the last four to six weeks or since Dak has come back? Well, uh, C.D. Lamb has always had such such expectations from uh, everyone, the fans, most of all himself. Uh, it's great to see him uh, that uh, come to fruition. He ha he is a extremely hard worker. He's highly intelligent, uh, and he does have unique after catch skills. Uh, that should develop into the kind of receiver that he aspires to be. And, uh, boy, he couldn't uh, be developing it with a coordinated uh, quarterback passing combo of him as receiver and Dak as quarterback uh, that you could ask for. Uh, I'm thrilled to death with that. And I was thrilled to see Gallup, and I'm trying, not trying to get ahead of you, but Gallup had a top game last night. You had that uh, T.Y. Hilton, and this, these guys are coming together at the right time as we're going into the playoffs. Since the Cowboys did play last night, and y'all don't have a game this weekend, since we were talking about local teams, you going to catch up on a little Fiesta Bowl, see TCU try to advance in the college football playoff? Listen, I'm a great uh, collegiate fan, as you could imagine, and I'm so excited about what the Frogs have done. And yes, I'm going to be right there burning a hole in it, uh, looking at them to have the success they deserve. And then the last thing I was curious about, we've talked about this on the show, New Year's is coming up. Are you a believer in the New Year's resolution, or do you just want to change something whenever, whatever day of the year it is? Well, I've always got a lot of things that I want to do better uh, or that I don't want to do as much of. And so um, uh, I've, um, I, I think I've, uh, uh, that resolution has helped me uh, be more determined and uh, I give my thoughts out loud to people close to me. And so uh, at least they know I realize those uh, flaws that I'm well aware of them. 
Well, we appreciate the time as always. Good, sir. Congratulations. Go Cowboys. Go TCU. Go Saints. You bet, guys. And let's have a great football weekend coming up here. Great to be on with you.